Assalamu alaikum. In this tutorial, we are going to work on subtitles. Firstly, when user will click on subtitle icon, we will show a dialog containing all the directories of device storage and user will select the subtitle file from device storage and after clicking on OK, subtitle will start showing with the video. Now, first of all, we are going to use an Android library for showing the directories. I will give the link of this library in description box. This is the file picker library that we are going to use. First of all, what we have to do, we are going to add this line in build.gradle, build.gradle project type file. Below the J center, paste here. And also we have to copy this dependency and paste in build.gradle module file right here. Click on sync now. Now in video player activity, after position 7, we are going to work on position 8 that is for subtitle. If position equal to 8 means user have clicked on subtitle icon. Here we are going to code for subtitle. Now first of all we are going to use file picker library for showing the directories for this we will create object for dialog properties dialog properties click on dialog properties and alt enter it will import and here create one more object for file picker dialog file picker dialog Alt enter create one more object for URI name it as URI subtitle and here we are going to initialize these objects right here dialog properties equal to new dialog properties and file picker dialog equal to new file picker dialog pass the context as video player activity dot this file picker dialog dot set title title will be select a subtitle file and here we're going to set the positive and negative buttons dot set positive button that will be OK and negative button will be dot set negative button cancel now in position 8 when user will click on subtitle icon what we have to do is dialog properties dot select mode equal to dialog configs dot single mode if we write here multi mode it will mean user can select more than one files but we do not want user to select more than one files that's why we will use single mode and now we will select the extension dialog properties dot extension will be new string array type string and here in curly braces subtitle file will be in dot srt extension here dialog properties dot root equal to new file Here we have to write the default path that will be slash storage slash emulated slash zero and now file picker dialog dot set properties will be dialog properties and on the last 
file pick a dialog dot show and file pick a dialog dot set dialog select listener selection listener new after user will select a subtitle file we will write code here get a loop here for loop string path object of file new file pass path here and URI subtitle URI dot pass file dot get absolute path dot to string and now we will work on play video subtitle method now copy this play video method play video method and paste below the same method play video paste here and rename it play video subtitle this method will be for playing the video with subtitles we're going to do some changes here firstly above here we're going to create position all position name it as player dot get current position and here we will stop the player play dot stop and now below the media source here below the media source we will create format name it as text format equals to format dot create text sample format select the first one first parameter will be null and the second will be mime type dot application subrip select this one and the third variable and third parameter will be format dot no value and here we have to pass app name that will that can be any text let's say i write app now below format create object for media source subtitle source name it as subtitle source new single sample media source dot factory select the second one pass here data source factory set treat load errors as end of stream select this one take it as true and now in below line dot create media source uri dot pass here we have to pass the input value let's create input value here in play video subtitle method uri name it as subtitle and pass the same value subtitle here subtitle and the second parameter will be text format take the third parameter as c dot time unset point on the subtitle alt enter wrap using string value now here create object for merging media source name it as merging media source new merging media source pass media source here and the second parameter will be subtitle source and on the last right here we will pass the merging media source instead of media source and here we have to do a little change play dot seek to from position to old position and the last thing we have to do is pass the play video subtitle method right here below the loop 
Play video subtitle. Pass URI subtitle here. Now we are done with all the code for subtitle. We are going to run the app now. Before running app, let me comment this method. If you do not want to comment the method, take it as it is and click on run app. We got the error here that is 16 minimum SD version 16 cannot be smaller than 19. So let's change the minimum SD version in build.creator module file above here. Minimum SD version change it from 16 to 19. Click on sync now. And now click on run app. Our app is installed now. Let's open the app. Open folder. I have this video file with subtitle file. My name is Let's Jay. expand the list the and click on this Juliet subtitle icon. Subtitle BMW icon. IX. You can see the alert dialog. This dialog contains all the files and directories of this device storage now you have to open the folder that contains a subtitle file with .srt extension I, am, I have a subtitle file in download folder you can see the subtitle file select this file user can select only one file at a time select the file and click on ok now you can see the subtitles are playing fine navigation and the best thing is you can talk to the google assistant you just have to say hey google now if i increase the speed you can see the subtitles are showing with video accordingly so that's all for this tutorial and here let me add one more thing that is for now we have worked on only .srt extension of subtitle file and maybe I worked on it after completing the series and make it compatible for some other extensions like .vtt, .ass, .ssa and some other extensions. But for now we are working on only .srt extension. So that's all for this tutorial. See you in the next tutorial. Until then Allah Hafiz.